from Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. We've got a perfect day for baseball. It's the Boston Red Sox taking on the New York Yankees. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about ready to go and towing the slab. Garrett Cole. How about a scouting report on him? It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. All right, ready to go here. And stepping in is the speedy Jaron Duran. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. The wind in the pitch. And that one fouled off. <laughs> Left hand batter waits. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Wow, he got away with a mistake right there. Righty delivers. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. That one hammered center field. Back there. And it is gone. He wastes no time on this one, and they grab the lead. It's 1-0. The one thing the pitcher didn't want to happen just happened. That's not an easy one to stomach. Oh, you got to love a game that brings some action from the jump. And at the plate, he was looking for a pitch to absolutely drive. And you know, leadoff hitters aren't up there anymore just working the count, trying to get on. They're looking to make some noise and do some damage. Now it's Devers at the plate. Rip to first. Here's a check of the Red Sox lineup put together by manager Alex Cora. We could be in for a power showcase today with the wind blowing out a lot of lift and separate Chris. Well, we know hitters are in this era definitely trying to hit the ball in the air regardless of the conditions but I think even a little more so there's margin for error if you can get the ball up in the air so you know you'll see at times I'm sure with two strikes what looks like a half swing that can get out of the ballpark with a hitter who's got decent pop. One down, base is empty. Right through there for a strike. Oh, they are coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. And a base hit right there. Nice line drive to the other side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. And the batter now, Masataka Yoshida. And a base hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. That is it. The short shot. Here's Trevor Story now. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. Oh, one now. That one ripped. And a base hit. Throw back in, holds the runner at third. Base is now loaded. Only one away. Oh, just a nice job yeah. coming through in a pretty high spot right there. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Now the base oh. is loaded. Big opportunity for them no to ball. break this game one open. Strike. Will your Abreu swings through it for strike one. Oh. 
Swing and a miss as he was out front. I think ultimately you want to tie him up with the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the ball to it and hit it to the outfield. Line and a base hit into right. In comes the run from third. It's two zip. Four hits in a row, and they're really yeah, swinging yeah, it yeah. here. Nice line drive to the pole side right Play there, away. but he didn't spin off mm -hmm. of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Here's Tyler O'Neill. Golden opportunity right here. Fall off foul. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. The Red Sox trying to break this one open, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Swings and misses, struck him out. Gosh, here it is, hit it. Three pitch strikeout, all the fastballs. Man, he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch right now. Vaughn Grissom up next for the Red Sox. And that one fouled off. He's given up a couple of runs, but the pitch count really not as high as you would think. Might be able to get through this one under 25 pitches. Two outs. Bases are full. Turned on, but foul wide of third. Swing and a miss struck him out. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. Bottom half of inning number one coming up. It's the Red Sox two, and the Yankees coming to bat. Back now in the Bronx. And today's starting pitcher, Lucas Giolito. What do you have on him, Siggy? Well, you don't always know what to expect with this guy on the mound to start the game. He can be really good at times and turn in some real excellent efforts. For me, it'll tell us a lot to see how he's attacking the strike zone and pitching aggressively or not. If he's doing that from the jump, I think he'll be fine in this one. Bottom of the first, DJ LeMayhew to start it off. Swing and a foul straight back. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. And there's a foul ball. Oh, and two now. Stays alive. On the ground to first. Casas takes it to the bag. One up, one down. Here's a look at Aaron Boone's lineup for the Yankees. Trailing by a couple of runs already, and I'm sure they'd like to erase that deficit quickly. Yeah, you don't want to let this deficit get into your head and you're trying to just make up the difference with one swing and you really don't have the base runners on. You've got to contribute, keep the line moving, and all of a sudden you have a big inning Everything shifts and you find yourself in the driver's seat. This one in the air right field. Lunge in, but it gets down. Now he'll turn for second. Not stopping, he's going for three. And he's got himself a triple. Soto stepping in now for the Yankees. And that one is lifted in the air. Duran sizes this one up. Stretches out and hauls it in. A big run scores on the sack fly. And now they trail by one. 
So many times that one gets out of here and into the seats, but he'll take the sack fly RBI. Good job to get that run in from third. John Carlos Stanton to the plate now. Bounce to the left side. And that one handled. Slings to first. Bang, bang, play, and the inning is over. So they get one run, one hit, no errors, and no one left. We head to the second from the big ballpark in the Bronx. It's the Red Sox two and the Yankees one. Back at Yankee Stadium at a batter down, Connor Wong. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. And there's one down. Now batting Jaron Duran. He's already homered in this game. Well, we're expecting to see strikeouts in this one. Cole is in the 2,000 strikeout club and only needed around 1,700 innings to get there. You know, only Chris Sale and Pedro Martinez needed fewer innings to reach 2,000 strikeouts. Base is empty one away here at the top of the second. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Some real good life going through the zone on that one. And the 0-2. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. The 0 2. Line drive, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Grounder might be two. And he takes it himself for the out. Now that the first base Tristan Casas. Now batting Tristan Casas. Singled and scored his first time. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Runner at second, two down. Now this one gets through. Coming home. He'll score, and they take a two-run lead. Comes through with the RBI. Smash that one through the infield for the knock. When it's hit that hard, it makes it very tough on the infielders to make any sort of play. So here's the cleanup hitter, Masataka Yoshida. Swung on, belted. And that one is out of here. He nails one out to right, and they add a couple more. It's 5-1. He got on plane with that high fastball, and look how his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Absolutely crushed that pitch. Here's Trevor Story. One for one with a single so far. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Two outs. Bounce to third. Fair ball. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Turned on it nicely. Definitely a little out in front of the pitch, but he didn't hook around it too much and was able to keep it fair. Down. And with two down, the Red Sox. The early lead. And now the right fielder. This one high in the air to left center. And that'll do it. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. It's now 5-1. Back.
back at Yankee Stadium, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. The Yankees in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. And a pitch. In the air, left field. O'Neill getting an angle on it. One down. Almost a loud start to the inning on that first pitch. Man, he's going to want that it. one back, no the doubt. Second base. Here Let is Glaber Torres. Go. You know, we talk so much about how guys prepare for a start. For Giolito, one of the things that's really cool, he actually uses scouting reports and then plays MLB the show to execute how he's going to go about attacking hitters. Grissom makes the grab, two down. Yeah, that's a tough no play for the infielder, field. ranging back no into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. So the night before his start, he effectively goes over the lineup he anticipates he's going to face and plays the game. So he goes through it and whips it to Casas. They don't come any quicker. Three pitches for three outs, inning over. Yanks held in check. They're down here, five to one. New inning getting started. Here's the left fielder, Tyler O'Neill. Oh, well, he's back out here for the third, and after the first couple of innings, pretty rough. I think the skipper's looking for him to give him a little bit of length, see if he can save the bullpen some. That's out to center field. And O'Neill is retired. And there's one down. Now that the, the second base. Here. And Vaughn. stepping in for Boston, Vaughn Grissom. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Swings through that one for strike one. No, no, I think one this strike. is an important inning on the mound for him in this game. He's got to find a way to settle things down and give some length in this start. One down, base is empty. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. In the air, center field. And that should be extra bases. Around first, digging for two. And he'll pull in there with a stand-up double. He went up there and got it with two strikes. I'm not going to leave this in the umpire's hands. I'm going to be aggressive. It was in a location where you could get those arms extended that he loves to do. So nice job right there, coming back in that at bat. And it's second with one away. Connor Wong up next for the Red Sox. Out in front with the swing, and that is strike one. Man, it's second. And it's strike two. On the mound, you take a note. You see the hitter's willingness to chase that pitch upstairs. Get deeper in the count. Try to climb the ladder. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And now two gone. Just blown away in that at bat. Three fastballs, all strikes. He wasn't even able to foul one off. There's not much you can take away from an at bat like that as a hitter, other than maybe there's something wrong with your eyes. Got to have better timing on the fastball next time. Grissom at second with two down. That one pushed foul. And they'll do it again. Man on second, two down. Come on and miss. Struck him out. Third out, and that ends the frame. One left for the Red Sox. They leave this one, though, 5-1. Back in New York as we go to the last of the third. And now the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. The right-hander back to work. Here's a high chopper. 
Grissom tosses the first leadoff hitter gone in the third. The Yankees looking to rally. Here's the Yankees catcher now, Austin Wells. Got it started a little too early, strike one. Giolito, a former All-Star, he features a four-seam fastball, a change-up, a slider, and he occasionally uses a curve. One out, base is empty. That's hard hit on the line. Makes the grab on the run. And there's two away. Now back at the third baseman, DJ. So they're down to their final out. Now it's LeMayhew up to hit. Grounded out his first time. Out towards left center. O'Neal on the move. And that'll do it. Sometimes road trips can be tough. You're away from your family, but when you can win, silence that opposing crowd. It makes things just a little bit better. It makes the road trip just a little bit shorter. 5-1 is how it ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.